Hi, it's Nick here from Square Kicker. Have you ever wanted to make a banner of logos scrolling across your website in Squarespace? Well, now you can with Square Kicker's section slider. The section slider tool allows you to take any ordinary section on Squarespace and turn it into a scrolling banner. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn the section slider into a series of logos scrolling across your website and how to make all those logos responsive across all devices. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll show you some animation tricks to make your logos pop on hover. All right, so I'm gonna head down here on this website and I'm gonna head down to a series of sections I have on Squarespace. Now you can see here that I actually have multiple sections. I have five sections going down the screen. And each one of these sections, I've already done this, but I've placed an image block. But if I open up the image block, you can see that I have a couple options here. I can upload my image. In this case, I'm gonna use a logo, but you can upload anything you want. You can have an icon, you can have a badge, you can have an image, you can even add text and buttons to this section if you want as well. Um, you can also attach a link. So if you want this logo or this icon or image to go somewhere, you can click on it and it will send you elsewhere. Um, again, at the end of this video, we're gonna show you how to add hover effects to this. So this option to show the animation um, hover when you, when you hover over this image. Cool, the next thing I wanna do is head over to my section and I'm gonna click on the G key, which is gonna allow me to see the grid on my Fluid Engine section. And I'm gonna do a couple things. First off, I wanna make sure that my fill screen is toggled off. Just for this design, I don't want this extra padding above and below my section because I want the section to be nice and thin across my site. So I'm gonna turn that off. The other thing I'm gonna notice is that all my sections have the grid going right to the end of the screen. I've already done this, but inside of the Square Kicker tools under section, you'll go to a layout tool. And in that you'll see at the very bottom full with grid. Now, when I flick this off, you'll see that there's some extra padding or spacing. This provides kind of like a minimum width of that section. So when I click the full width grid on, it actually stretches out that grid right to the edge of the screen, which is gonna allow my sections to seamlessly flow right into the other. All right, so once I have all those set up, I'm gonna see I want my spacing to be equal between each logo as well. Now, I can see that I have two sections, sorry, two grid rows on the other side of my logo. And on the other side of the screen, I also have two grid rows, but I also wanna pay attention to the middle because if I only have two in the middle and when this section flows into the one below, it's gonna equal four different grid rows column. So I actually want to just click and drag to make those slightly wider. So now I have an evenly spaced amount of grid rows going from one to the other. Now you notice that I only have two logos. Well, that's right two logos per section. That's gonna be important because on mobile, we're gonna to want to also change that as well. Cause I click on my mobile view and I can see that my logos are stacked. So I don't want this to be, so I'm actually gonna move my logos right to the end and make room for them so they're sitting balanced right in the middle. So just like that, we're just gonna click and drag around. Don't forget to move the empty space at the bottom as well. So now I have these logos just kind of evenly spaced across the site, going right to the edge of the container. That's important because I want this to be smooth and trans the smooth transition between each section. So I've already done this to all my other section, so that is ready to go. So I head over to my desktop. Now here's where the magic happens. I simply just go over to my extension from my section on the first section, go into advance, and down at the bottom I see section slider and I click enable. Now you can see instantly, I'm gonna turn off my G key, you can see instantly they're already scrolling across. That's because I have the scroll turned on. So you might by default see the slide enabled, which allows you to create a section slideshow. But I'm gonna go over to scroll, and now I can see my logo scrolling across the screen. Now, earlier you saw, you might see this, you might see one or two logos per section on your screen. So I head down to my slides per view, and that's where I can see slides per view is one, two, or even three. And lastly, I'm actually gonna do four because I want these really small logos to be scrolling across my site. Now here I can also adjust the scrolling speed as well. If I want this to go a bit faster or slower, and I can even choose the direction if I want them to go left or right. So I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna say left and keep that on there. The next thing I want to do is obviously just make sure I have sections enabled five. So I had five sections enabled for my slider, but if you drop that down to four, you'll see that the section below the last one will pop out of my slideshow and I'll put that back in and now I'm ready to go. The last thing I wanna do is head over to my different devices. So I'm gonna go to tablet 
and see that actually here is maybe a bit too many logos squished together. So I'm gonna probably choose three because that looks a bit nicer than four on the desktop. And finally on mobile, I'm gonna see that I only see two sections per view and they're a bit big, but if I want to, I can actually go down and shrink them down to a smaller size by just showing you earlier how you can use Fluid Engine to drag and resize those images inside of Squarespace. So that's pretty much it. But now I wanna show you some really handy tips on how to make animations happen on scroll for your logo. So I'm just gonna apply this. And first off, it's gonna be easier to do this when I'm not scrolling across the logos on the screen. So I'm gonna click into any section and it's gonna take me straight to my original first section. And I'm gonna turn that off. Now I head into my Square Kicker tools and let's go on with some color because that's gonna be fun. This National Geographic one looks good. So I'm gonna go into my Square Kicker tools for this image for this icon, and I'm gonna go over to filter. So filter is gonna be a bit fun. So I'm actually wanna take the grayscale and move it all the way up. So it's fully grayscale, but then I click the lightning bolt up here, which is my hover mode. And when I flick on hover mode, it's gonna say on hover, I want it to actually be full color, which is pretty fun. And let's do one other effect. Let's just turn off hover mode again, and let's just do effects. And effects, I'm gonna turn this down to maybe 97, just a little bit smaller, but on hover, I want to scale back up to 100. So let's see what that looks like on hover. So I'm gonna apply that, and as I hover on it, look at that, it's scaling and changing color on hover, which is pretty fun. Now, if I wanna rapidly apply this to all of them, I could easily just do the same thing, but I'm actually gonna turn this into a preset. So I'm gonna go up to presets, I'm gonna click on create a preset, and I'm gonna choose to call this my logo, slider image and return. And then now I've got my asset ready to go. I'm just gonna go find one with just a little bit more pop here. The bottom, those look like they're gonna make a big difference. Logo slider images. And I could easily quickly go through my whole set of sections now and apply all of this to all my sections. But for time, I'm just gonna apply it to a couple more so we can show you what this looks like at the final when we have all these things layered together. Cool, so I'm gonna head in down now and click on my advanced slider and turn this back on. And now I have my list of sections ready to roll. And you can see what squares I wanted to had to hover on. There we go, a few of those are clicking and I can obviously make those links as well, which is really fun. But watch, watch what happens now when I go into mobile. It is perfectly responsive across all devices. So there you have it. I hope you have learned something about how to use Square Kicker to make your logo slider banner on your website. And if you need any help, always feel free to reach out to our team. We're happy to help. And if you like more tips like this one, don't forget to subscribe and we look forward to seeing what you create.